Welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn with me and my wife, Anni. Hello. Last episode, we got to the epilogue, the bargain chapter. And this is the very first memory of the bargain chapter, which we got to by using our watch on the monkey's paw that was sent to us years after the fact. Nasty. So, yeah. Nasty man. Very nasty man. That's the surgeon. Bastard. Henry Evans. Um, yeah, we saw this whole scene before we stopped, so I guess time to move on? Yeah. Like, I don't know, quick recap, Henry Evans talking to somebody outside, like, the other person wants to just go, they want to escape on the raft, but for some reason the doctor is set on getting in here. They want to know where the key is, where is it, it's gone, damn, no time, we need to go. But then the doctor just kind of ignores them and has their monkey go inside attached to this rope and then they shoot their monkey? I, I don't know why. I imagine they're always attached to their rope. I imagine they're always kind of on a leash, the monkey. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Also, the other person out there asks them, what are you up to? And then they say nothing good. Which is weird and ominous. Hmm. So, two bodies here. I think let's go with this one first, Philip Dahl. Yeah. I feel like they probably died first because they were put in here first. Mm, yeah. Uh, when were they put in here? Which chapter was that? I think... Um, was it murder? Uh, no, I think it was the beginning of um, Soldiers of the Sea. Um, no... I think that's too late. Oh, I think it was in Unholy Captives. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's when they started freaking out. Philip Dahl did. Yeah, that that guy was killed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So this is where it happened. Yeah. So they'd been in there since the Unholy Captives chapter. Bargains down here. So they'd been in here for quite a while. And they kind of missed the worst um, horrors happening. They missed both of the um, creatures attacking the spider of creatures sp spider jockeys and the uh, and the cr tentacle monster squiddy yeah although i suspect they may have come in through here yes so let's go with this body oh 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 right we don't get to choose yeah <laughs> well A third shell! Captain didn't toss them all! Leave it! Help me lift this! Stop! Why? Well, set you free! Give it the shell! Do it! Hoist it out! To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when, when you leave. Get the tail, boy. You return. The ship. The Uberton. So they dragged the thing out of here. Mm. This is not actually. This doesn't actually go directly into the water, does no. it? Is it just like a water holding tank? Yeah, I think so. Ah, so this is where they had put them. Let's uh, let's look at that dialogue. Oh, I can't until we're out of here. Yeah. parts hmm. 
think the very last part of the bargain was when the doctor shot the monkey. Yeah. Do you think the doctor knew about this watch and like killed the monkey just so somebody could get back here? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Which which voice is Martin? <clears throat> Somebody else saying a third shell. Captain did. Uh, hold on. Let's see who's present. It says two others. Fourth mate steward and and they're the third mate. So that's not their steward. And first mate. First steward. mate steward. Um. I don't, I don't think they had any special connection to Parrot, right? No. Just kind of the mates, underlings. Yeah. Now, this is one of the ones that escaped to Africa. Yeah. This one did not. No, they got killed by the Russian before they could get to the boat, but they tried to get to the boat. Hmm. Because the Russian was like, Oi, you won't take the last boat. Just oh, that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So one of the stewards was saying a third shell. Captain didn't toss them all. Then Martin says, leave it. Help me lift this stop weight. Where to set you free? Uh, when they said stop weight, I think they were talking to the creature. Yes. I think it was like flailing a lot, uh, flailing around or like about to attack him. And they like, hold on, we're trying to help you. Yeah. Give it the shell. And they, they do, right? Yes, the they do. shells on them. Yeah. Do it, hoist it out to the main deck, throw it over, lock the door when you leave. In return, the Oberdin see at home. Who are they speaking to when they say in return? Are they speaking to the creature? I think so. Yeah, probably so, since um, the other two just like escaped afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So, is this the bargain? That they made with a creature? We'll let you go if you agree to leave us alone? Yeah. I think so. So do they understand English? Like, you can talk to them? I don't know. I think it's just a thing you're not supposed to, like, question. It's kind of like... <laughs> yeah. Mm, ruining my suspension of disbelief. Bad game. <laughs> plot hole. <laughs> plot hole. Ding. Game since. So they died here, but this isn't when they got injured. I don't think. Like, it didn't sound like they got hurt when they were trying to get the body out. There's no sounds of pain. Just, I think they were just bleeding out during all this. Yeah, mayhaps. From, from those. We'll probably see that earlier. Yeah. I think we can guess their cause of death because they got spiked by a yes. beast, but uh, yeah, let's wait. Um, yep, Philip Dahl definitely died first. Yep. Is that like water? Because it's not level right now. It probably is. I imagine maybe you have to keep the shell in water. To preserve it. Mm. Or it'll become brittle or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if that's like a... A spear, spear going to another yeah. creature. Maybe. Spike, spike... Yeah, spikes everywhere. Okay, I think we're ready for the next one. Yes. Oh, oh it oh, is going hello. into a creature. Is that the captain? Ah, yeah.
So Philip Dahl did manage to get the shell out of here, I guess, or from somewhere. Hmm. But we'll see. Is the chain just connected to their hat? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I think he's just resting on just, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the captain's connected to the hat bone. <laughs> the hat bone's connected to the chain bone. <laughs> Captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. Withdraw the Kraken or I will kill you all. It did one other person present? Does that mean that Philip Dahl's not dead yet? No, just one person was present. Sorry, I misread. Yeah, one person other than the one that died. Just the captain. Think we're ready for the next one? Yeah. So I think this is why, remember we thought maybe people thought that the captain was a coward because at some point during the whole Kraken thing, mm -hmm. like right before it disappeared, they said that they saw the captain coming up from the hold. Yeah. I guess they thought maybe they were hiding down there. We thought maybe that too, but I think they were just trying to make the Kraken go away by striking a bargain or killing one of the creatures or what have you. I think just m murderous rage revenge is what's going on here I don't think the captain's a good man especially since he kept one of the shells I think he's also a greedy bastard mm. motherfucker Nichols disease we call it <laughs> call it off damn you this is your kraken you brought it here send it back God, I love the water shooting up from the holes. Yeah. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Finally, we knew how you died. What's this? Quicksilver. Oh, oh! Quicksilver. Huh. Sounded kind of like an acid. Yeah. Oh, right. We can't see the dialogue until the yeah. end. look up what Quicksilver actually is. Like, I've heard the name before, but I don't know what it actually is. It's a metal that's liquid in room temperature. Hmm. It used to be used in, um... Uh, what are they called that you take temperature with? Thermometer? Yeah, like mercury? Yeah, isn't mercury and Quicksilver the same thing? Are they? 
I googled Quicksilver and all I find is a fictional character from X-Men. Based on a quick Google, I do not know whether it would bring your hand off. I suspect not normally? Like, Mercury will poison you, but I don't think it'll just burn your flesh off normally. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, who's to say it is actually literally Quicksilver. Mercury? Yeah. yeah, maybe it just looks like that. Yeah. This thing definitely seems to be supernatural. Yes, absolutely. Magical. Yeah. On the other hand, it looks like it's just either on fire or just could be like acidic fumes. It's hard to tell. Mm hmm. So basically, Curiosity killed the cat. He was like, oh, well, what's this? <laughs> yeah. We can mark mark their causes of death now. Um, <gasps> yeah, I mean, like, oh, what is that? Well, we successfully said that they were burned for eating egg. So I guess we can just go with that. Yeah. Poisoned? Not really. That's not what killed them, at least. No. Yeah, burned. And then for Martin, they were speared by a beast. Yes. Or spiked. Uh, spiked, yeah. All done. All done. Alright, when's the next adventure? That was one book. It looks like it had another one there. Yeah. Pope. Mr. Pope. Make another one for us. Forget your dad. Yeah, fuck your dad. What about <laughs> us? <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Mr. Pope Senior. I'm sure he's a lovely gentleman. What about us? We want another one. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good game. Yeah. Should we do closing thoughts? Um, it was really good. Yeah, good game. GG. A satisfying mystery that makes you really use your brain is always fun. Yeah, it's a puzzle game of a type that I don't know if I've ever quite played before. Um, I guess the, the closest thing I can think of that was similar to it that I've played is the Pains Creek Killings, sort of? Um, I guess in the sense that it's a puzzle game, but it's about piecing together what happened, uh, rather than about, like, sliding block puzzles or making machines work or anything like that. Yeah. Although well, this is one was, like, a lot more, like, structured. Definitely. Pains Creek Killing was completely unstructured, really. And um, compared to Pain's Great Killing, uh, the story was like very simplistic, very black and white, very like good people, bad people, very disappointing in the end, like very interesting journey, like worth it, but like not, not really peak story as much as interesting game storytelling. But this one is really also just like a good story. Yeah, it was messy and weird and had tons of people with all sorts of different motivations. It felt like a story with a message, you know? Like, I felt like this story was saying something just as, instead of like, just being a bunch of shit that makes you go, whoa! It is just a really well-told story. Yeah. Like, there's definitely a thing of like, selfishness, human selfishness and like, man versus nature thing going on. Yeah, yeah, most things that went wrong come down to greed. I think the only thing that didn't was 
the uh, the deaths at the very beginning as part of loose cargo. I don't, yeah. I don't think that had anything to do with the shell or anything like that. But then again, the Formosan family had the shell, which they should have never had. Yeah, actually, that's a very interesting point. I hadn't really thought about that. Where the hell do they get the shell and the thing from? They obviously stole it from somewhere. Yes. They obviously stole it from those creatures. And they wanted it back, right? Yes. Which I think is kind of like... I don't know, if I personally, like, piss off a world in a water, I wouldn't be like, all right, let me sail back. Like, I get that at the time it was the best way of transporting yourself, but I'd just be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, trek. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do this trek. <laughs> <laughs> do you think if you solved, like, none of the fates and finished the game... That they would send you a letter like, wow, we hired you? Or like, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> and they send us a package and the person's like, man, it smells like death. And you open it and it's just shit. <laughs> just dung. You send it to the guy and it just comes back like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the person in the barrel was about? Do you think they got on board because they knew the Formosan royalty was there and maybe they wanted to, like, steal it too? Like, do you think that was also greed or, or what? Or I just a random they, stowaway that has no particular importance? I think it really was just a random stowaway of no particular importance. I imagine during the Industrial Revolution in Britain in the 19th century, there was probably a lot of people being like, what the fuck are we doing here? I'm gonna go... I'm going to go find a better life somewhere else. Okay, well, I guess this is the end of our playthrough of Return of the Oprah Din. So, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it tacked along halfway through. <laughs> Why'd you be sorry? You're welcome, I tagged along halfway through. It was very nice to have you. Thank you, it was very nice to have you as my wife.